खुलेगा यार खुलेगा कोई बात नहीं सचिन डेल तेरा सचिन स्क्रीन तो हिला प्लीज खुल जा डोंट वरी यू कैन स्किप दिस पार्ट्स यार वीडियो एडिटिंग किसे आती है यहां पे ठीक है वो पैसे मांग रहा है न्यूटन you can press f so that all the points automatically fit to the screen okay so points are created then we will create lines connecting these points now we need a hole in our plate so we will use a circle we specify the radius let's specify 20 yeah 20 is enough so 20 okay now we will create surfaces so first of all we will create a rectangular surface don't forget to uncheck this auto create uh, box okay so the surface is created but uh, Uh, we are seeing a wire mesh so it on the shaded geometry so that we can see the shaded shaded geometry and then again we will make another surface on this circle so now we are having two surfaces but this circle we don't need so uh, first of all we will trim this rectangular surface from the circle using trim command so here first we will select the outer uh, rectangular surface and then the circular surface which is the trimming boundary so uh, and then i have to trim and the surfaces are trimmed now we will delete this two circle surfaces that are made okay so this is our final geometry the dimensions can be changed according to the geometry which you are using for your analysis now after doing this firstly we will uh, assign the mat uh, create the material so material here you can choose any material whichever you want so first of all material name i'll give it a steel select the type as isotropic and card image as map one then hit create <coughs> it here specify e new and row of your material and then click uh, return you can edit these values so return okay now i'll create the property there uh, is the property okay so here it is so property you can name whatever you want to but uh, remember that never use a space in naming any of the property or material or anything otherwise it will give you an error okay so property name you can specify anything type should be 2d because this is a 2d analysis and card image p shell material you can uh, assign the material directly to the property which material you have already created so uh, i'll hit create it now here i'll specify the thickness of the plate so uh, by default is 1 so 1 mm is the thickness of the plate okay so the property is created here you can see that the my material and my properties are created you can also change the color uh, and to see that whether this material or this property is assigned to the component it is not assigned until yet but uh, here we will assign in components i'll go to update then component uh, this is a auto component that it generates uh, i haven't named it so it's auto one i'll select that and then uh, no property to also to property and then i'll select the property i have created okay so uh, we were 
Okay, so uh, here we will uh, assign this property to that component. So in the component, I'll select the auto one, and in the property, I select the property I have created. As you can see, all that, uh, automatically the material is given to that component because the property was assigned to that material. Okay, I'll say update. So after doing this, uh, we will need to uh, mesh this geometry. So in uh, 2D, I'll go to auto mesh and here I will select the surface. The element size can be edited over here and uh, quads, trias or mixed can be used depending on your geometry. So here I am using quads because it's, it's not that complex geometry. and Okay, so here my geometry is uh, meshed. Um, so the geometry is meshed, and then uh, only two more steps are uh, are remaining. So we will clear the load collectors. So you can name whatever you want to, but don't forget to um, switch no card to card, and then say create. Okay so uh, here uh, in that load collector i will give the constraints and the forces that i want to apply on this model so firstly constraints in constraints i will select uh, edges in place of nodes and i will select this as the edge in which i want to create the uh, constraints and i'll say create so as you can see that uh, here it is constrained in all these six degree of freedoms as I as I have ticked all the six degree of freedoms. Now I'll assign the forces on the opposite edge. So in on this edge, yeah. Okay. So uh, the direction in my case is positive x axis because I want a tensile force on this plate. So the direction will be uh, x axis and magnitude I am keeping it as 10 newtons and uh, I will say create. So here my forces on all these points that 10 newton force is distributed in all these nodes. So my forces are created then I uh, will go to load steps and I will uh, give it a name and then I will take SPC and load and uh, in SPC I'll select this because in this load collector I have given the constraints and in load again I'll select the same one because in the same I have given the forces too. I'll select here linear static and I'll say create. Okay so uh, the final thing is creating the output block. Uh, I'm naming it DEF and uh, here uh, switch to properties and in properties select the only property that you have created and say create okay now uh, now we will save this uh, document save session and uh, new folder okay so here i will save this document okay now the document is saved so only thing that is left is to run the analysis uh, Put export options to all, run options to analysis and say optistruct. Your solver will start. Yeah, and here it is. If you have done everything correctly, your job will be uh, completed and you can see the results by clicking on results. And this result hyperview window will automatically open and okay so say here apply uh, this is your result file which is saved uh, as dot h3d file say apply yes then hit to contours this over here okay now for displacements select this displacement over here and say apply so you can see the displacements uh, so these are your uh, displacement results for your one my uh, stresses uh, elementary stresses ok 
okay so uh, this uh, select here element okay so here select uh, element stresses and one my stresses everything method you can use a simple and say apply so these are the stresses that are generated on the plate and uh, this was uh, this was it these are the results okay now to calculate the uh, stress concentration factor before that this uh, whole analysis is run on the thickness 1 mm you can change easily to the multiple dimension of the thickness uh, just go to the properties and click on card edit change the thickness according to the your application you can change this to 5 10 15 um, and basically this uh, we required four iterations so a by h value can be of four types so we are doing it for five now now again we'll, we will have to save the session and uh, run the analysis as we have done earlier so just right click on the property change the thickness save and then again analysis optistruct optistruct that's all uh, we have to do to get different results because of the increase in thickness the deformation will be decreased and so will the stress the stress concentration factor in this case is the maximum stress upon uh, uh, lower stress uh, lower stress this, this is at a particular point we are taking at the we are taking at the boundary conditions so that uh, at all cases we will, we will find the same result.